Hello Libra, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Libra, and the message could be for you, so feel free to take it however resonates with you and your situation. Keep in, ooh, 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 keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings, and if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. You can go ahead and just subscribe your email there, and that way you'll get a nice, easy email notification whenever the readings open back up. Um, oh, yeah, freaking wow, Libra. Um, and yeah, so as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all of the ways that you supported the channel. Man, I don't know if there was some connection between you and Scorpio or something because I, like, I kept saying your guys' sign for some reason in the Scorpio reading, and I don't always do that. It's very rare. So I don't know if there's a connection there. I probably should have told, told Scorpios that. Anyway, so... Whew. Libra. Wow. You've got the sun card first out. Sorry, I'm like, boom. You have the sun card first, which is positive. There's some success. There's like some level of achievement that you're going to come to this next week where you're feeling very abundant. You feel very productive, like you're like getting stuff done, especially if you guys have been feeling a little bit kind of unmotivated or it's been a little bit challenging to kind of do the things that you know you want to do or even that you need to do it's like you're gonna dial that down there's gonna be something where you feel like something shifts and you start to feel like you're back in the groove like you're in sync with the day there's just a shift coming in that way and the star card wow that's the next one coming out. So we have harmony, abundance, calm, renewal, inspiration, optimism. So you're like having maybe some renewal come in this next week and this sun will probably bring it in. And you guys know too, I always say like it's the sun popping out. That helps a lot. Like you'll even notice sometimes like where on more sunny days you feel more hopeful and you're like okay okay we're doing good like things are all right in life like there's a definite difference that you can feel maybe even energetically when that happens so let's dive in here this is good though the star and the freaking sun those are the both the most two positive cards all right i'm being awkward with these hold on Okay, we have the animal. That's very random. Let's see what else comes out. Oh yeah, what a fascinating combo. Okay, Libra. So we have the comic. So that's actually really good because I feel like that's the sun. Maybe it's something about you're laughing or you'll feel the shift too. Things that seemed a little more heavy or daunting when this positive shift comes in for you over the next week, you'll start to have a little bit of comic relief, like things that have felt really dark, like you'll be finding the, you know, kind of like the comic relief in certain situations, almost the satire. So that's either you or that could be a person that comes in that kind of like lifts your spirit. It could be kind of a random person here with the animal i feel like it's kind of someone that's um a little rough around the edges i don't know why i'm getting that like it's someone that's kind of like i don't it's a very animalistic nature it's someone that kind of just like is off the beaten path like do does their own thing I don't know if that's you, Libra. I, like, I don't generally get that from Libras, but this could be something that you're doing. Some of you guys might legit have an animal. I mean, dude, these are both... This card is so weird to me, but there's a cat and then there's an animal. So there could be something there about... Some of you guys might be legit getting an animal or something about your animal. Like, that's helping a lot with lightening up your energy in some way shape or form what in the world i don't know let's dive into this oh 
Okay, we have the devil. All right, this is, ooh, that kind of shifts things a little bit. Let me see. Let's keep pulling some cards. All right, here we go. Okay, Um, so we have the three of swords. So I feel as though this is actually good, though, because you have the sun card, which is the first card that popped out. So it's kind of illuminating or transforming maybe some pain that you've been through or kind of some shadowy type of energies that you've been dealing with. Some of you guys, that also could be health issues. There could be something that you're doing that's very different. Like with the animal, it just feels as though you're kind of doing something a little bit more like of an animalistic nature. Something that kind of loosens you up is kind of what I keep wanting to say. So like I said, you might be feeling pulled to do something, you know? The star is kind of like a light in the dark and that absolutely is the dark so you have these really powerful archetypal like healing cards these very positive energies that are trying to shine a light into this energy that you might be going through because you might i mean absolutely with the star you're going through the healing process so it's kind of like moment to moment it's a little bit back and forth like sometimes it feels really good and then sometimes like things just feel really really Challenging. Oh, that was the other card that flipped over and that's why. So here's the dealio. Okay. Both of these cards, the three of swords and this five of swords kind of tells me like you're still dealing with some type of relationship or situation that really confuses your mind. And whenever you let this person back in, it could be some form of a third party situation. It doesn't have to just be romance. This could also be a family or a friendship that you guys are going through. But you get really confused. Like you guys go through this kind of like the the energy that this person kind of projects at you. It is very confusing because you're like trying to remember the times like the five of swords is a gaslighting energy. It doesn't it's not what it seems. So here's the dealio. Okay. I feel as though there's a person in your life that oh, here's the other side of it. This person kind of like sees you as this positive light. You also, whenever you communicate with this person, Libra, you're actually more, you're very funny. Like you make this other person laugh and that's actually why they like to keep you around as well. They see you, they get a lot of joy and energy fulfillment from you. But you have also become the sun for this person, okay? Like, I feel as though this person kind of, like, takes from your energy. And part of the confliction is that, like, they project a lot of their own shadow onto you in, in very subtle ways, okay? So that's why this sun, this is from another person. So that's why I'm saying, like, that part of the shadow energy is could that you could be dealing with some type of toxic relationship where you guys kind of go through this stalemate like you never see eye to eye with this person there could be a lot of mind games but you pick up on certain things and they never admit to them okay and so they're coming in and trying to kind of like shine a light or you know everything appears to be super sunny it's not <laughs> It's, it's really not. Okay, so this is good. We have the Ace of Cups. Because I feel like what's going to happen, Libra, if you let this person back in, okay, because we're still on the tail end of, we're going into the post-shadow of Mercury retrograde, so there still could be some past energies resurfacing. Um, whatever this is for you, it is a back, like, it causes a lot of instability for you. And I feel like emotionally... So I feel like what will happen is if you kind of let this in and it confuses your mind, you're going to have to go back to your self-love and self-care and get back into that, which you'll see the sun will come in. It will provide like the real stability for you. But here's your like a new love or self-love that's coming in to help you out with this. Oh, shiz, Libra. Wow. And you have the Ten of Cups. Wow. That's good. And we have the Ten of Swords. Okay. So, <laughs> this 
whatever is going to happen between you and this person, look how crazy it is. Three of Swords, Five of Swords, and then the Ten of Swords over here. So when it's almost like you're you're going through this process multiple times i'm not gonna lie it feels like you've already dealt with this person before or you have been dealing with some it's very cold energy over here that's why we have it more of like the snow it's not really emotional you know like and any emotions the sun that's coming in from this person it's like a false energy it's false positivity it's that like grandiose image so that's why I love it. it. Like it's more focusing on new energies and you going to your self-love. And it's almost like spirit or the universe is going to kind of fill you up really quickly. And once you get to this frequency, then Ten of Swords, you're going to be able to see like the difference in frequencies between this and that's what's going to help you end something so kind of like there will probably be a separation and another ending that you go through here with this person or this situation because i'm not gonna lie and i'm not telling you guys to do this but it almost feels as though you're kind of like waiting to see if someone wakes up in your life like you're still kind of like entertaining entertaining a connection but that's a part of the devil is your um it's kind of like a toxic connection it's codependency so you're still kind of like learning a different form of independence maybe, or there's still kind of the hope that you hang on to, but the hope is almost the toxicity at this point because the five of swords is kind of like, you, oh, it's two very conflicting energies between the sun and these, the three of swords, the devil and the five of swords. You're still kind of like chemically programmed to go back to this person. I feel like in a really messed up way, this person knows that, that they know kind of how to like hook you or something like that. It's a very, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of the animal coming in with the devil because that's very much so like, um, it's a very low consciousness human, like not very developed. It's kind of like the lowest of the low. Honestly, I would probably trust an animal more than I would trust this person. <laughs> so that's why I was saying you guys might have like a new love that comes in. Remember I talked about at the beginning like a new pet or something? That's very possible. I'm not going to lie. Like that's a very random thing. But it's almost like, yeah, the, the real son is going to come in and help you get back to an emotionally fulfilling place. And then Ten of Swords, you're like, yeah, this is another, it's nothing has changed. Nothing has changed in this connection. This person hasn't woken up. Nothing has really changed. And there you are moving forward. So there's almost a different blessing in this situation too, Libra. Like that I feel as though for some of you guys, there's something that's come in that's helping you to create more and more distance so you can continue to heal. Okay. Um, but I feel like this five of swords is kind of tricky because someone might be coming in and trying to like make you doubt yourself or make you question yourself and what you're picking up on. And you might have a triggered emotional response to that. So be aware of that part. The animal could be a little bit of like a knee jerk reaction or something. So be cautious because I feel as though, again, the emotions part, like you might have to go through a bit of a healing process because this might distort things that you know are good for yourself. That's why if this person comes in and, and gets you confused, then you start thinking, oh, well, it, like sometimes it can turn into emotionally eating, like it turns into this whole process. So just try, try to stay as aware and conscious as possible because it might kind of give you an emotional hangover you know that type of a thing where you're having to go through a recovery but your emotions will come back in okay so i'll dive into the extended we'll see whatever other messages want to come out so if you guys want to join me over there of course feel free go down below click on the vimeo link and i'll see you over there but libra if this is where we leave things i'm sending you guys so much love wishing you all the very best and i'll see you in your next reading take care